You got to shock the muscle, shock the muscle, and shock the muscle. I think that the three exercises for chest that I have always done, bench press, incline press, and then flies. Exercise number one, this is the bench press. For myself and Kyle, we're power lifters primarily, so you're doing these nice pause reps. You can get a little bit less muscle growth here than if you're doing the touch and go style, where you're really just focusing on pushing that hypertrophy, pushing that higher rep, pushing yourself to new limits. Really focus on that mid grip, pull the bar inward, squeeze that chest, and that's how you get the most out of it. Rep scheme for this exercise is gonna be two warm up sets of about 12, 15 reps, get that blood flowing. And Arnold was all about still lifting heavy. He was a man, he liked to lift some serious weight. So what he did is he'd work himself up to a high triple or four rep PR. So he'd go 12, 10, eight, six, four, or three, and that's what you guys are gonna do. Yep. Exercise number two, we're gonna be doing the incline barbell press. So the rep range is gonna be 12, 10, eight, six, and then four, three reps. Arnold, like Josh said, it was all about lifting heavy, but here we're gonna be focusing more on getting a nice contraction and isolating the upper chest for upper chest gains. Number three is strict dumbbell flies. He's huge on the dumbbells and really, really emphasizes being strict. So with these, he has his arm almost fully extended, just with a little slight bend, because you don't want to overextend, mess up your elbow. If you guys do have injuries, be very careful doing these. You're gonna keep your arms as straight as physically possible. And he's about getting that full stretch all the way down to where you're actually nearly hyperextending this muscle. You're pushing it to its limit, so use a light weight. Keep it in control, we're keeping that same rat scheme. 12, 10, eight, six, and he usually does about two sixes instead of the four here. So you don't want to destroy it with too heavy. It'll burn you out. Make sure you're squeezing. Let's get it. The flies was an exercise that uh, gave me the full pectoral muscle development. All right guys, so a couple tips for this exercise. You wanna stop just when you reach the top. You don't wanna bring it all the way in front of you. What that's gonna do is that's gonna take the isolation and the contraction off of the chest. Another tip is a lot of people actually do this incorrectly where they'll turn it into more of a lat stretch exercise. So on your way down, you don't wanna go fully down. So what I mean by this is, uh, you don't wanna go all the way down to like here, because then you're gonna be taking the contraction off of the chest, put it more onto your lats. Number three is you're gonna to wanna to focus on squeezing your elbows together within the movement to get more contraction on the chest. So, there you go. Last but not least, we got the burnout. Four sets of 50, good old chest dips. The way to do these different are you're gonna lean forward, squeeze that chest in. If you're just doing your normal dips, you're gonna be like this with no engagement. The second you tilt that core forward, put that chin down, squeeze that, you're gonna get that little bit of contraction right there. Get that huge Arnold chest, that's all you gotta do. Pump through it, good deep reps, no half reps. Really focus on that mind-muscle connection. And that's that, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. This Arnold chest workout, got the double buy for him. If you guys wanna see the rest of the workout, he hits chest and back, click here. It'll also be in the description if you missed my two second leeway to click in it. If you guys like these celebrity workouts, check out our other celebrity workouts up here or here, wherever it is. You click that, a bunch of cards come down. Thanks for checking in, guys. We're Colossus Fitness. Subscribe if you like what you see. Peace.